justice. What does that word mean? Today, for example, it means that when an individual is charged with attempted murder, that charge must be proven beyond any reasonable doubt. And in order to prove attempted murder, only one thing matters, intent. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Gordy Brock screwed up big time. He came home drunk, he beat up his wife, Dina, and sent her to the hospital. But when Dina Brock was lying on that floor, unconscious, it was Gordy Brock who called for an ambulance. <laughs> it was Gordy Brock who stopped his wife from bleeding to death before help arrived. Does that make him a hero? Obviously not. But it does clearly show one thing. While he abused his wife, he never meant to kill her. He never meant to kill her. You can hate Gordy Brock if you want for beating his wife. I do. But when you go into that jury room, remember those six words. Because they go to the heart of this case. See, you have a job. And your job is to deliver justice. And thankfully, the prosecution has made your job easy. Two words. Not guilty. Do they always decide so fast? Well, three hours isn't my record for an acquittal, but it'll do. <laughs> you really saved my ass. You just remember what we talked about. Yeah, got a meeting tonight. Good. Okay. You didn't just save his life, you saved mine too. Shark strikes again. Oh, madam, district attorney. I should have tried this one myself. You know, as much as I love going head to head with you, Jess, wouldn't have mattered this time. Attempted murder, Gordy Brock is headlines. You went for the glory, you lost. I tried to put away a wife beater. Gordy Brock belongs in prison. Well, the jury disagreed, didn't they? But if it's any consolation, you look really hot in that suit. Dream on. I will. The shark big has such teeth death and it shows them pearly white. Just a jackknife has old Maggie Heath dead and it keeps it out of sight. Margaret, why be a buzzkill? Suspects in the kitchen. It's my lawyer, boys. So why not save everybody some time and money and let me go right now? Shoot. Margaret, why are you still here? I've been asking myself that for nine long years. Well, then surely you're familiar with the phrase, cancel everything. Your clients are. You got to get back on the horse. Oh, look, here's a tip, OK? Why don't you take the equestrian metaphors and shove them you know where? That's nice. Why aren't you in school? It's 4.30 in the afternoon, Dad. Huh. Do you want more green peppers in your eyes? Not hungry. It's because you're depressed. Hi. Hi. Mm. Ooh, you smell. When was the last time you took a shower? Tuesday. <sighs> Look, Dad, after the whole Dina Brock thing, it makes perfect sense for you to punish yourself out of guilt. The white teen Oprah speaks. Yes, well, the scars of my broken home have made me wise beyond my years. Mm. Come on, Dad, it's been a month. I'm really worried about you. Mm. You're good. I'm okay. Yeah? <laughs> really? Yes, I am. Shouldn't you be getting home? Oh, I just came by to remind you about the custody hearing. I don't do custody, honey. Custody of me, Dad. I turned 16 last month. Thanks for the card. Ouch. Sorry. Now I have to decide who gets final custody, you or Mom. Uh, that judge was a major putt. You got a phone call. I'm out. It's the mayor. Said something about a 10-year audit on your city tax return. 
You read Lopez this morning? Aspen's still the playground for the rich and famous, but LA's a new hotspot to get away with murder. You should audit his taxes. Truth is, I'm sick of the poor going to jail for jaywalking while millionaires kill each other without missing a massage. We're starting a high-profile crime unit in the DA's office to nail rich folks with fancy lawyers like you. <laughs> What's so funny, huh? I tell you what, Mr. Mayor, you put 10 prosecutors on a big-time case, you give them all the money they can spend, and I'll bury them alive every day of the week with a matinee on Wednesday and another on Sunday. So you think Devlin's incompetent? Hey, she's got great legs, but she doesn't know diddly about winning big jury trials. That's why I'm bringing somebody from the outside to head the unit. <laughs> uh, what schmo would take that job? Come on. Me, a prosecutor? <laughs> what are you? No. Come on, why not? <laughs> I, I eat prosecutors for breakfast. They're my main source of fiber. Come it's better on. to shake up the DA's unit, huh? Winning is what you do, and it's what makes you the man. And I consider this a personal favor. But Jessica would never go for it. I've got a 67% approval rating. She's got editorial screaming for her head. She'll do what I say. <sighs> Manny, give me one good reason I should even consider this. I'll give you three, hermano. You feel bad about Dina Brock? You're sick of playing on the wrong side, and you don't want to go out like this. Office, Mr. Stark. Ms. Devlin? Oh, this baby should get me out of a few speeding tickets. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Do you mind telling me what the hell you're up to? Wow, look at these digs, huh? Pretty good for a city employee. Yeah, it comes with a great parking spot, too. Unfortunately, some jerk is parked in it. Wow, some people have no respect, do they? Mm. <laughs> look at that. Terrible. So what, you think you can just waltz in here and cleanse your conscience by putting away a few felons? Hey, Demir asked for me. You know what I want, Jess? I want us just to all be able to get along. And I want the Rams to come back to L.A. But you know what? Not holding my breath. You know, I made my bones humiliating this office on a daily basis. But I want you to know it was never personal. That's because for you, the legal system's just a game to be played for fun and profit. You mind? You know what? You make that sound like a bad thing. Maybe not for a defense lawyer. But a deputy DA represents this city. And generally not very well. You are a good attorney, but the people in your office, they, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, yeah, suck. Big trials require a big oh, gun. Oh, please, you screwed up. We both know that's why you're here. Oh. No matter how many criminals you put away, Dina Brock's blood's still going to be on your hands. Yeah, what about your hands, Jess? If this office had the faintest clue how to mount an effective prosecution, the guy would still be in jail and should still be alive. Well, this should be fun. Yeah, Mardi Gras. County of L.A. v. Jennifer Dennison. Joking, that's a dog. Accused a 20-year-old singer yeah, charged, charged of secondary murder in the death of Terrence Rourke at the Chateau Hotel. Accused claims the victim raped her and she stabbed him in self-defense. Am I supposed to be impressed? Hey, guilty of sin, you're right, but unwinnable. Next. All right, you listen to me. Delgado may have forced me to hire you, but this is my office. You prosecute the cases I choose. Okay. <laughs> what, the morgue wasn't available? Uh, uh. Break a leg, Counselor. I hear he bribes jurors. Zero conscience. He's scum. He won the Fry case by getting Judge Cranepool's kid into Berkeley. That's completely unethical. And the conviction rate of this office is completely pathetic. And it was Harvard, by the way. Well, it's clear you think you know me. Let's see what I know about you. Richard Casey Woodland, backup QB, USC, dad's a state senator, charming, good with the jury, weak on the facts, not a rocket scientist. Billy Willis, smart, passionate, lets emotion cloud her judgment. Martin Allende. Allende. Loyola Law Review, great on paper, weak on his feet, couldn't close a window. And of course... Take your best shot. Raina Troy, tough, brilliant, and I used to dream of getting you on a case. Major authority problem, a contempt citation waiting to happen. Whatever. <laughs> I rest my case. I have a dossier on every single prosecutor in this building. No die enemy. Aren't we on the same side now? Yeah, the jury's out, isn't it? But of course, if the dragon lady assigned you to me, I guess you're on her hit list. That means you're damaged goods, and that means that we have something in common. 
Madeline Pope. You're not on the list. I volunteered for the unit. Well, I appreciate that, but you're not on the list. I graduated cum laude from Stanford Law, clerked for the Ninth Circuit, and I've led this office in convictions for the last two years. I intend to become a defense attorney, and I'm here to learn from the best. Well, there you go, sucking up. An effective tactic. Sit. You know, people say that high-priced defense attorneys beat prosecutors because it's easier to prove reasonable doubt than certain guilt. But there's a simple explanation for why I always win and you always lose my vastly superior abilities as a lawyer notwithstanding. A prosecutor must conform his case to the demands of the legal system. A defense attorney conforms the legal system to the demands of his case. You want to win? Grab a pencil. I live by three simple rules. My cutthroat manifesto. These rules guide every single decision I make on every single case. Rule number one, trial is war, second place is death. Rule number two, truth is relative. Pick one that works. Rule number three, in a jury trial, there are only 12 opinions that matter, and, Ms. Troy, yours, most decidedly, is not one of them. Now, from this day forward, Every case will be David versus Goliath. And guess who's holding the slingshot? Now, I have some bad news. And I have some truly horrible news. The bad news is, from one of your lamer colleagues, we have inherited the Denison case. The jury is lousy. The opposition has unlimited resources. The truly horrible news, we go to trial in 48 hours. For this to work, you must accept that winning is the only thing that matters. What about justice? Hey. Your job is to win. Justice is God's problem. So guys, you're either on the bus or you're off the bus. Let's get to work. I've seen you on television. Occupational hazard. You represent criminals. Terry wasn't a criminal. Mrs. Rourke, I'm here to help you. So please tell me about your son. Terry was a great kid. He always loved music and photography. Shooting videos, he could do both. Did. Terry have an active social life? He dated a lot. Girls liked him. I have to ask, was he in the habit of having one night stands? Do you have children, Mr. Strug? 16 year old daughter. Then you know, once they start to grow up, they don't always tell you everything. Maybe you don't want to know. Just pray they're safe. I believe this girl murdered your son. But I have to tell you, it's going to be tough to convince a jury of that. I understand. But the thing is, Terry could never have done what she said he did. And if I'm going to find a way to go on living, I need the world to know that. Well, then I'll have to restore your son's reputation, won't I? And I give you my word I will. OK, town car picks up Jenny Dennison at 6 AM, drops her at a Burbank soundstage, she spends the next 15 hours shooting a music video. Parents work was a cameraman on the shoot. They got chummy, went out for drinks, and landed back at the chateau at 2.15 AM. Alcohol impugns her credibility. She asked him to leave. He refused. He got sexually aggressive, pushed her down on the bed, and raped her. Her medical exam shows no evidence of forced intercourse. Or any defensive wounds indicating a violent struggle. Well, if Rook didn't rape her, why'd she kill him? You're just like a guided missile, aren't you? Straight to the heart of the case. OK, strategy. First, we got to implode Jenny Dennison's case. We want the jury to say to themselves, how does a guy with no history of violence whatsoever become some mad rapist? We got to create our own truth. So here's Terrence Rourke, shows up on the set, meets a cute girl, asks her out for a date. They have a few too many drinks. They get into a drunken argument. Jenny settles it with a knife. The existing prep work on this case is atrocious. Start over, assignments, Madeline, all the dirt on Jenny. Uh, boyfriends, friends, relatives, Billy, same thing on Terrence Rourke, Raina, forensics. The CSU and the ME's reports. Are just the beginning. Be creative, dig deeper. Martin, you're gonna go to the Chateau. Ask for Reed, R-E-I-D, he's the assistant manager. Tell him I sent you, and you give him this, okay? Now, check out Jenny's story. The whole crime scene, follow in her footsteps, find the holes in the case. Let's get going. Uh, what about me? Oh, yeah, uh, I want you to go down to Jensen's and get a double order of cheese fries. <laughs> You're joking, right? Did I chuckle? You're gonna bring the fries to Juris Bailiff Ray Sabato. Ray's in charge of the jurors in this case. Two things he loves more than life itself. He loves yakking with the jurors, and he loves to eat. That bag of fries is going to buy us more insight than 10 jury consultants, OK? Uh, that's prosecutorial misconduct. But we'll just have to be brave on this one. We have to prove that Terrence Rourke was a victim of murder. We need to make that jury hear his voice. 
So how's the new job going? I've had better days. Larry just got himself a new gig. Hmm. Head of anesthesiology. Can he put me out of my misery? He's about to. You just wrote your last alimony check. We're engaged. <laughs> hey. mm -hmm. oh. Is that for my happiness or the alimony? Yes. <laughs> There's more. Larry's new job is in New York. Oh. There's a great private school for Julie there. The custody hearing will be over by then. Timing seems good. What do you think? I, I mean, you obviously thought this all out, and you always seem to know what's best for Julie. No, it'll be great for her. Mm. And hey, we always, we always talked about moving to New York one day, remember? Yeah, right, but <laughs> it's a slightly different version. Did you tell him? I told him. Pretty freaky, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty freaky. But you're still gonna come visit us, right? I mean, I know you're always swamped. Oh, but... you're kidding? No, I mean, <laughs> hey, we'll you know, hit the Broadway shows, we'll watch the Knicks lose. Yeah, no, it, it, it'll be great. It'll be great. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, so we'll let you get some work done. Maybe I failed to make myself clear. We're fighting the clock, guys. It's only been 24 hours. AKA half the allotted time. Your stuff on the victim is thin. And your forensics overview is like every high school class I ever failed, Rena. You, Martin, you, you interviewed the room service guy, but none of the maids on Jenny's floor? And what about uh, Bailiff Sabato? He was sick yesterday. And when you went to his house, just tell me you went to his house. He said he's contagious. Well, you better hope he dies. I take that back. But anyway, look, the only good thing here is your stuff on Jennifer Dennison. That is good. We need more stuff like that if we're going to clear Terrence Rourke's name. It's what it's going to take to win. That is why we're here. OK. Hey, Julie. That's my dad. I'll call you guys later. Hey! hey. Is mom okay? Why wouldn't she be? Well, why else would you be here? I was in the neighborhood. Why, is it so bizarre for me to stop by? You haven't visited me at school since the third grade, so yeah, this falls under the bizarre category. Fine. You want to grab a bite to eat? What about your case? Oh, the evidentiary hearing got bumped till four. I got a couple hours, so... Are you sure mom's okay? Hey, look, you know, I thought with you leaving soon, we might hang out a little bit, but if you don't want, I can look, eat a power bar. I, I mean, I... Uh, look, the thing is, I was just headed down to Melrose. Oh, that's good, because I need a new pair of leather chaps. <laughs> well, actually... You ready to go? Dad, this is Jared. Pleasure Hi. to meet you, Mr. Stark. Jared? Caught the broad trial on court TV. It was a kill across the neighbor chick. Uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> that didn't work out so well as it Dad. turned out, but yeah. Uh, Jared, you know, my dad and I... Uh... No, sweetie, it's okay. You, you two go. Okay, I'll see you later. Are you sure? I'll catch you later. Good to meet you, sir. You too. Okay, how about she's got me stuck in the damn storage closet? I'm surprised she let you out for lunch. Hey, Foxy, what are you doing here? I'm training my counsel on physical fitness. Ah, couldn't get magic? Oh, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> I hear I might need to find a new lawyer. I'll get you some names. Yeah, how about Anita Aston? Oh, outstanding. Apparently, Defiance Records agrees. I hear they're about to bring her in to represent Jenny Dennison. That's not good. She as tough as they say? Tougher. Didn't you two have a little thing? Once. Well, uh, twice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it end? Not well. Mm. Involuntary manslaughter, five years, she's out in two. You run this past the DA? It's a great deal, Jenny, take it. Are we talking about jail, jail, or Martha Stewart jail? Uh, we can work something out. 
The office declined. You sure, Jenny? Because if you get convicted, you could die in prison. The offer is declined. I need to speak to Mr. Stark. Man, you like to roll the dice, don't you? You think what, I'm some state school prosecutor with 30 cases in the fire? You're taking a hell of a chance. I know, but it'll be so much more fun kicking the shark's ass. Don't call me that, I hate that. Oh, it's not like I haven't seen you fit. Oh, you'd reject a primo deal, what, to settle an old score between us? Oh, don't flatter yourself. I know your M.O. You've got squat or you wouldn't be dealing. Maybe your client deserves a break. Oh, so now you're the prosecutor with a heart. Please, your disgrace. I'm sensing some hostility. Yeah, you hop the fence. Like being a defense attorney is something you need to rehab from. Maybe it is. Your client went bad, you melted down. You sold out your partners, you sold out your profession. And now, Stark, I'm gonna beat you like an African drum. You got something big, right? I'll see you in court. Well, maybe they found an eyewitness. They'd have to be on the list. New forensics? The defense hasn't hired an expert. Oh, hey, thanks for joining us. I hired a web monitoring service to keep us posted on all things Jenny. There you go, score one for Mr. Law Review. And the winner is... Sextasy.net. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, is that... Jenny Dennison and Terrence Rourke minutes before she killed him. Uh, so much for Jenny being the innocent victim. And now that sex is definitely consensual. Kinda hot, too. This thing's a slam dunk. This thing's a train wreck. Five minutes ago, we had a rape defense based on weak physical evidence. Now we got Paris Hilton 2, some sleazy Romeo.